you, Cole Cats. This is Mina with another episode of Kingdom Hearts. We last finished up basically going around to a lot of areas. Uh, I went and got some more XP. And uh, most importantly, I got some of that atrocious Winnie the Pooh stuff out of the way. Um, but yeah, I just remembered that I needed to see the fairy godmother for one of those things that I got from uh, the Hundred Acre Wood. I talked to her. Oh, another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Learn the summon spell Bambi. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. I still haven't been I haven't been using the the summons. I don't know if they're any good. I it's just like something that I don't think about because when I'm in like a combat situation, I don't want to waste my MP on just that. Um so yeah. Wait, why am I going out this way? I don't need to go out this way. You can just teleport. So we need to go to the next area, which is... Where's my... There we go. Let's see. Is it possible to get around this whale and go here? Oh, I thought that was something I had to shoot. It's Atlantica! Oh no, it's Atlantica. Okay, guys, prepare for the landing! Land where? In the sea? We'll drown! Not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me! Sebastian? They don't look like one of them. Right, Plunder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Speak uh, for yourself. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Mm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I see. In that case, uh, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel! King Triton will not like this! Oh, don't worry. Oh no, I can't fake it. <laughs> a bad Jamaican accent? Uh, easy for you to say! Okay, it's time for you to learn how to swim properly. Use the left stick to swim around. Press circle to rise and square to dive. Oh boy. Release them to stop rising or whatever. Practice swimming with Flounder. Try to tag him. Alright, begin. Okay. Up, down. Up, down. Oh, there he is. Oh, I could just like lock on. This is not teaching me how to swim. This is teaching me how to utilize the lock on function. Where? Oh, there he is. He's down here. Sebastian! 
Alright. Oh god. Ow! We just cast thunder in the water. It's totally a good idea. Oh my god, it is impossible. I hate this already! I've barely fought in the water and I already hate it. I, I know that's really quick to make a snap judgment, but whoa, I don't like it. Okay, talk. Wow, nice job! What do I need to do? I think it might open it. I created a save point. <laughs> those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be headed for the palace too. We'd better head back right away. But what if we run into more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. Okay, uh, let me swap Donald for Ariel. Maybe her, her, her swimming will be, like, superior. Uh, let's see what abilities she has. Ariel has Cure Potion. Oh, nice. Treasure Magnet. Second Wind. Oh, wow. She's really good. Now let's let's keep her. What is evolution? Give up MP to give 30 HP to every... Increases MP summon gauge, giving them more time and attacks per battle. Equipped to empire... To meet a whirl after enemy using shield to attack. Charge with an enemy with... I wonder if none of those actually work in the water. to him anyways. Atlantica! When I was a kid, um, The Little Mermaid was Probably one of my three most favorite Disney movies. I'll, I'll explore this later. For, forget it. I just want I want to get this place over with. Uh, down, down, down. Where do I need to go? This way. I don't- I, I really don't care. I have a feeling that'll shoot you out the- the middle. Plus, if I don't bother trying to get anything, then, uh... The plus side is, is that when I have to come back and look for stuff, I know that I can look everywhere. <laughs> that was too close. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. So you'll tolerate it when someone else has that trident. Daddy? Oh, Ariel. <laughs> Isn't it dangerous out there? Uh. Strange creatures lurk outside. 
<laughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas, His Majesty King Triton. And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? So he knows of it? Uh, she's already leaving the palace. <laughs> she's already leaving. Right now. Perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Gurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. A sea exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... See ya! There. I just have a feeling that, like, even though it doesn't make sense that fire should work in water, I need to get, like, farther distance to hit these enemies that are just swimming obnoxiously away. Ah, that's the way. It's stuck in the hole. How could it be pulled out? I don't know. Look at all the wonderful things Founder and I've collected. I think it's from all... I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, no, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants me, he never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. Uh, pretty important. Why did it, like, pan onto that thing? Oh, there's treasure chest in here. This is how we open treasure chest. We take a giant key and we clank it on it. It works pretty nicely. Flounder, what do you have to say? There's a really big fish who can swim against the current, but he's scared of those weird things swimming around. So if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, they'll take you somewhere. Is that a hint? I can't go up there. Aww. I think I've discovered everything here. There's gonna be... yeah. I was about to say, I bet Flotsam and Jetsam are gonna... So I, I, I can't believe I remember their names. <laughs> Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl could hold you, and I've got the heart 
Atlas on my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Uh, whoever they casted for Sebastian, they did not do a good job of um, getting that guy prepared for the, uh, the role. I don't know if it's the same guy or not, but whoever they casted for Ursula, if that is not the same voice actress, you know, I will be shocked. So I think we need to get rid of all the enemies here so that way the dolphin will play with us, because I'm guessing that's the big fish. That dolphin doesn't take us anywhere. Undersea garden. Mega potion. I don't get it. That was it? Is this where I needed to go? Sunken ship. Oh, this looks like a place. This looks like a place to be. Treasure chest. Mithril shard. Oh look, it's that little um, thing that the shark got stuck in. Elixir. Da 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 da. Ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. Ba da ba ba da ba ba. What is this? Huh? What do you mean, huh? What is that thing? Oh, what is this? If only I could reach it. There we go. Swaying from the top. Oh, son of a gun. That shape reminds me of something. Oh, gee, I wonder what. I don't want to go outside, though. There's a shark out there. My throat shard. Mithril. Well, I don't have much of a choice. I guess the best thing I can do is Goofy. heal Goofy. This should help. Yeah, heal Sora. Top us off, and what do we have to do? Where is he? Oh, 
How is he still alive? Is he invincible? There we go. Screw off, you garbage fish. Alright, what do I do here, though? There's a path up here. Calm depths. There was also a way down there. Undersea Grotto. Oh! Or a Calcum. Ariel! Goofy! No, we don't have a lot of. Why is there like no save points anywhere? Put it right there, right? There we go. Boom. Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh... As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. Then why don't you just tell me where the keyhole is so that way I can lock it up and go? Damn. Oh, I know where she's at. My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. First, you I can help. You cold, my dear. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> That shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. The trident. Huh? Now listen carefully. Right? Ursula always wants her hand it's on that trident. All right, let's talk to Flounder. Where, where did Ariel go? I want to go look for her, but I'm so sort of scared. All right. Hmm. 
I just I want a save point to refresh my, my stuff. I wonder if there's one back at Triton's Palace. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Uh I would re I I'd like to request a save point. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> Daddy! The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait. I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. All right. Okay. Swap out Donald for Ariel again. Done. Easy. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. Oh. It's very helpful. Do you happen to have a save point here? Oh. Wait. Are all save points hidden in shells? Oh. Alright, we gotta find where Ursula went. Strike her thing with magic. Got it. What is that? Oh, excuse me. There's a way that way. There's a way that way. I wonder if the dolphin will take us the other way that we need to go. Go to the right, 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 go to the right. No! Dang it. I have a feeling I need to go that way. I am so lost, you guys. I have no idea where I need to go. Alright guys, I spent so much time searching and I'm gonna be real with you, I'm gonna be honest with you because I feel like we can be honest with each other. I opened up a guide because I could not figure out what this game wanted me to do. So I know where to go now. Just leave me alone, you fat fish. Anyways, I'm pretty sure those of you who... God, just go. Just go. I'm pretty sure those of you who um, like Kingdom Hearts and are very knowledgeable about where to go, I'm sure, I'm sure some of you are like, well, it's obvious where you needed to go. For someone like me who, you know, tried to look in every nook and cranny and just felt like once you... I, I guess here, here's how I feel about, like, when I'm exploring things. If I've already explored a place, if, if I've already explored a place and I've looked very hard around the place, 
and nothing ever made me think, oh, I, I really need to come back here in the near future. I'm not gonna go back there. Leave me alone, you stupid fish. Isn't there something else you should be doing? You have to look at this thing? This isn't the time. What? This is what the guy told me to do. Is it because that shark's there? Oh, I have to get rid of the shark. The guide told me to come over here. Let's grab that stuff. No reason to abandon it. <clears throat> All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Need some help. I'll show you how it's done. I wasted so much Heal. I wasted so much energy going through here. Oh well. Come on. Please be there at a save point. Mega Ether, that is for me. I don't feel like fighting these enemies. I just want to save my MP for the fight. There we go. Cauldron magic. I have not forgotten. Cauldron magic. Your time has come. accomplishing anything by like Probably should have brought ethers. I didn't think this through. Oh god.
No. Whatever, 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 whatever! Build up enough MP. It's fine. I don't quite understand the cauldron, but it's whatever. Die! Just stay dead! Oh my gosh! That was awful. Your little pets are dead. You pay for this! Let's go! We must get the trident back! It's not over? Shared ability, mermaid kick. To swim faster against currents, equip this and press the circle repeatedly. You, you didn't think about giving me this ability earlier? I guess I can put that. Come on. 
Insolent Little Fools is always this stupid laser beam one that hurts a lot. My fingers hurt! I'm so tired of mashing! I'm so tired of mashing! Oh my god! Oh my god, you guys! Jesus! I will do it again. This is a nightmare. <sighs> Let's just do it. <sighs> that was so <clears throat> annoying. We can do it, though. We can do it. Oh my god!
that all over again all of it had to play it so safe. <sighs> I'm not going to subject you guys to seeing like the entirety of, of how I beat that. Um, suffice it to say, so Ursula does these random lightning bolts on every party member and so you have to dodge those. She has a little get ready for this attack where she blows bubbles, which are easily dodged. Um, however, she usually recovers from that, that attack really quickly to do another attack following after that. And the one she follows that up with is either going to be her, her uh, sucking water thing where she also bites you. It's not that much damage, but... Why take that damage? Because you're going to be taking little bits of damage everywhere else. And then she has that laser beam that goes wow across the screen. And literally, if you're not mermaid kicking as hard as you can, you can't dodge that. I tried a couple different ways, and I was getting hit by that. So I don't know if there's a better way to do that fight. But basically, whatever I, whenever she was like in an animation of heaving and just being like, ah, 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 that's when I threw out a couple attacks. Um... And just in general, if I knew that the only thing that I was going to get hit by was just l random lightning bolts, I was going to go in and hit her face. However, because I was doing that, sometimes in her final phase where she goes, um, what is that attack that she does? A, uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's an AoE lightning thing. So she creates like an AoE lightning around her and that hurts. So you can easily go from like full to dead real quick if you get hit by a couple of unfortunate lightning bolt strikes it's it wasn't a hard fight like i knew what i had to do the problem is, is that because the execution of it wasn't so it, glamorous or whatever like there wasn't anything tricky about the fight you know it wasn't tricky it was just that you had to play it way too safe but anyways let's move on D daddy i'm so sorry Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. 
key bearer. I have one more request. See the seal the keyhole. My trident also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course. That's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. Obtain the power of thunder. Thunder has been upgraded to Thundaga. Received Ansem Report 3. Holy smokes. I spent way too long in this area. And we're so happy to leave it. I also changed my keyblade. Oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, so you may have noticed that the final final fight, I switched my keyblade to a um to the one that had more attack because I wasn't really using my my keyblade for magic. I was just using the uh, the magic portion of it to uh, you know heal myself. Also, are there no enemies around? Oh shoot, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take advantage of this no enemy thing and go around and open stuff. See you guys in a minute. Alrighty. Let's get this over with. Let's end this this nightmare of a zone. for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. <sighs> well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. This is for my collection. I want you to have it. Crab Claw! Oh. It just gives you one more MP. Also deals good physical damage. Oh. Nice. Thanks, Ariel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my Let's Play episode of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, hopefully the next place we visit will not be anywhere near as stressful as <laughs> this zone was. I, I, I'm really sorry that I opened up a guide, but I, I, I seriously was just swimming around and like, I, I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. I would clear out all enemies and I, I, I just didn't know. So. Ah, I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that I got this over with and we can move on to the next area and I hope to see you guys. Oh wait, you know what? And you know what? Before we end this, we got to read the journal. All right. Chronicles Atlantica. Ariel, a princess of Atlantica, yearned to go to other worlds, but her dream could not be realized as King Triton, her father, forbade such notions. Ursula took advantage of this to coax Ariel into leading her to the Triton to Triton's Trident, 
which she then seized for herself. To atone for her mistake, Ariel went to Ursula's lair with Sora, Donald, and Goofy to retrieve the trident. After her mores were defeated, Ursula used the trident's power to become a giant, but was vanquished in the end. With the trident's power, Sora found the keyhole and sealed it. Oh, we missed Ansem's report number two. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnation... Incan the shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnations of the darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. Dumbo! A baby circus elephant. He was taunted because of his huge ears, but his talent for flying made him the star of the circus. Ascend with circle button. Descend with square. Hold down with triangle button for splash attack. What? He first flew onto the screen in Dumbo 1941. Bambi, a young deer, son of the great stag who rules the forest. He prances around and gives you items. The more foes Sora defeats, the better the items become. The type of items he gives varies depending on the area. Pinocchio, crafted by Geppetto and brought to life by the Blue Fairy. He'd have lost his heart to the Heartless if, it, if I hadn't come to the rescue. Now he's living in Traverse Town with Geppetto and working hard to become a real boy. Geppetto! The kind, gentle clockmaker. Soren friends helped him escape from Monstro's belly. These days he's living in Traverse Town and looking forward to the day Pinocchio becomes a real boy. I think that was updated. I'm pretty sure I've read those entries before. Ariel. Trinan's youngest daughter, Ursula tricked her into helping steal his trident. With the help from Sora and the others, all was put right. Still, she'll never stop dreaming of exploring the world outside her father's palace. Her voice enchanted us in The Little Mermaid. 1989. King, King Triton. King of Atlantica, who is backed by the power of his trident. He has forbidden Ariel to have any contact with outsiders, on, which only led her to yearn to grow even stronger. He ruled the seas in The Little Mermaid. Ursula, she deceived Ariel and stole the trident to take over Atlantica. Using its power, she became an enormous monster and battled Sword, Goofy, and Donald. She appeared in The Little Mermaid, 1989. Sebastian, Triton's concert master, a musical genius. The little crab is also responsible for keeping an eye on Ariel to ensure her safety. Whether she leaves the palace, he's on pins and whenever she leaves the palace, he's on pins and needles. He conducted himself in The Little Mermaid. Flounder. Ariel's trusted friend. Flounder will do anything for her. He's small and not exactly brave, but he'll never leave Ariel's side, even when it means facing danger. He appeared in The Little Mermaid. Jetsam. Ursula's lackey along with Flotsam. An evil moray eel, Jetsam is a smooth talker who loves to deceive. His specialty is using empty promises to lure unsuspecting mermen and mermaids into Ursula's clutches. He ran interference for Ursula in The Little Mermaid, 1989. Flotsam. Ursula's lackey along with Jetsam. Uh, blah, 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 It's the same thing. I don't understand why they didn't just combine the two. Whatever. Piglet. <laughs> Pooh's best friend in the Hundred Acre Wood. Tiny, timid Piglet is startled by just about anything. When that happens, he covers his eyes with his floppy ears. He appeared on a Wednesday in Winnie the Pooh and the Bluestery Day. Blustery Day. Bl Bluestery Day. Tigger. Tigger loves to bounce more than anything. Sometimes his bouncing gets out of hand, but that doesn't mean any harm. Beneath that happy-go-lucky exterior beats a sense. Beneath that happy-go-lucky exterior beats a sensitive, gentle heart. He bounced onto the scene in Winnie the Pooh and Bluestery Day. Rabbit. Rabbit is an earnest, hard-working member of the Hundred Acre Wood community. He keeps to himself, but lends a hand when others need him. He's not always comfortable around the exuberant Tigger. He appeared in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, 1966. Eeyore. Timid, retiring Eeyore lives in a little house in the roots of a tree. His tail is held on by a tack, but it keeps falling off and getting lost. Now he's wandering the woods looking for a new home. He reluctantly appeared in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, 1966. The Heartless! Sea Neon. Heartless resembling a jellyfish. They swim fast and attack in numbers. Overall, they're not tough opponents. 
Sheltering zone. Heartless resembling a jellyfish. You receive damage just from colliding with it. They move slow, but break up into many sea neons if struck. They fling their tentacles away to keep their enemies away. Screwdriver. Heartless that attacks with aqua tank. Unpredictable creatures dashing forward one minute, cowardly retreating the next. They are invigorated by the sparks from aqua tank. Aqua tank. Heartless resembling a fish that calmly swim the seas. They are often carrying screwdrivers. Leisurely... Large creatures that do not attack unless provoked. Red armor. A giant heartless similar to the guard armor. It splits into armored torso, gauntlets, hammer legs, each with the ability to, of individual movement. Each body part can be found heading a team in the Coliseum tournament. And then it's just got a couple of the records that I've done. Alright, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!